firecracker right now. Let these motherfuckers know who the fuck we got up for the streets today, man. It's Louis Ray, man. Flint, Michigan. Steve Brand. What's up? Already tap in with my motherfucking guy. Tell the folks what city and state you from. Flint, Michigan, man. That's the city and state, so yeah. Flint, Michigan. What's up? Real shit. Now give me hip to the type of shit you seen and personally dabbled in growing up in Flint. Uh, yeah, Flint is more like a, it's more like a struggle city, you know what I'm saying? We kind of got our struggle stories. You ain't really know, you know city where you'll find too many opportunities at all. So we kind of got the grind story. That's why I call my shit still grinding because it's... That's really what it is around here. Hell yeah. That first thing first, you can crispier than fresh fries. I'm, on, yo. I'm waiting on you. You can crispier than fresh fries. What, or who was your main influence behind your fashion style? Uh, I really ain't had no influence on the clothes. I kind of just push it together. If it look good, that's kind of put it together. So I really ain't got no. I really ain't got that. You just do that, that shit? Yeah, they kind of throw that shit off. What's up? Alright, so what point in your career was you like, I gotta take rap serious because I can make it out with this shit? Uh, truthfully, I've been, I've been looked at it like that since I first day I started rapping. Oh, shit. Cause I, I started rapping off seeing my niggas rapping. And they kind of was telling me like, shit, you know what I'm saying? This shit. Like, then you can do something with this, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man. So I kind of always been serious, but as far as taking it serious, probably this last year. Like, I always knew what it always knew what it would do for you, but I never like took it serious. I just knew what it would do for you. Oh, that put me on how you start your creative process when you hit the booth, cause your material be phenomenal. Bro, I produced the switch video. We turn some shit. We turn it. We find a good beat we like. I kind of, I kind of go in my little bubble. I kind of go into a shell. That's how I kind of rap. I rap in the shell. I don't try to, I don't try to say too much. I don't try to do too much. I gotta keep it in the shell. So that's kind of all. I kind of rap off feelings too. Like whatever feeling I'm going through. Yeah, yeah, I can hear it in your music. You rap struggle music. Alright, so now this COVID 19 shit have an effect on how you able to move on a day to day basis? And I ain't even noticed the code. I never really seen it, bro. Like, we never stop moving. Real shit. Only thing stop us motherfucking, uh, only thing stop us motherfucking, like the show. You know as far as like the features and shit like that, as far as music go, that shit just turned up more. Flat out. Damn, man, thank you for the code. Get you time to go ahead and reset. Now let the, folk, let the folks at the crib know how you first met up with Mike and Rio, cause y'all bond is brotherly, and it seemed like you knew them boys way before this rap shit. Yeah. Yeah, you see Mike just walked up, this shit family, for real. Man, RMC Mike, what's the deal, baby? What up, bro? They gotta know I paid 1200 for these. Okay. okay. Bottom bottom bleed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Regular nigga, man. We didn't even know you was coming to get on the video. I met Rio Mike, man. Rio my real brother. That's my real little brother. Mike, his friend. Like his best friend or something. So we just click like that. Him and Mike first kind of started doing that itself. On their on they own. And I used to always tell the nigga, like, man, fuck with me. Like, let's rap. Let's rap. And they found their own source. You know what I'm saying? So, they ain't really come around with my style. They, they, they found their own source. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit. Real shit, I feel it. Now, this is a double question. What producer and what cameraman is your favorite to work with right now, and why do you recommend them? I ain't gonna lie, my favorite cameraman right now, he a hard nigga to deal with sometimes. But he a good nigga at the same time, man. Nigga Jerry HD. Shout out he to shot the, yeah, He shot the video coach, man. Mm -hmm. um, it's between him and PP. I don't want to just give it all to one person because I fuck with uh, product films too. So I gotta give him something too. And the producers, as far as producers go, I'm kind of tapped in. I like Energy Pablo. You feel what I'm saying? I got my own in house shit. Third Bridge Productions. I fuck with them. Uh, a lot of the Detroit niggas. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with MBs. Uh, I fuck with Sad. It's a lot of these. I can't even name them all. But it's a, they, they, it's kind of like they all in the circle. It ain't like nothing. Hell yeah, yeah, definitely got talent up in the mix. You just want to circle? Hell yeah. Now I've been hip to Flynn music scene for maybe about three years, and y'all done fucked around and turned it into a little hub for music in the mix and shit. How did you feel when the light came to the city of Flint? Cause I know you've been doing this shit before a lot of niggas up there. I feel about damn time. You feel what I'm saying? Real shit. Like shit. I've been rapping, this is my sixth year right now going on. You know what I'm saying? Long time in the making. Yeah, like I feel like it's been long as hell. 
But really it ain't because I kind of bullshitted a lot. So this last year, I seen what we could do. You know what I'm saying? I took it serious and we did what we supposed to do. So it's like, it makes sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, so you see niggas get on fast, like, y'all fuck you get on fast. But if you're business behind you, your business on point, your business on point. Yeah, talk to my work. Now your track record is crazy. You still grinding number one pussy shit to more money that just dropped two days ago. With that being said, let's get into Coochie, which by the way, congratulations on going Ghetto Diamond, which y'all just hit at 148 this morning. Yeah. So Coochie dropped literally a month ago, and motherfuckers been blaming y'all shit in Texas, Florida, New York, every goddamn way. Yeah. How you feel, do you feel as if this your breakthrough record, and how that shit make you feel knowing motherfuckers around the country, not just Michigan, turned up and love Lou Ray music? Nah, I pre I'm appreciating it like a motherfucker, bro. They, they get to get a real story. This ain't just like no rapper. You know what I'm saying? All right, we ain't just really like rapping, trying to make music, just doing it just to be doing it. This is really like the story behind it is serious, so I kind of want people to hear it. And I'm thankful that they grab me, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't just, I'm thankful, we're more thankful than anybody. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna give them more pressure, right? Now. Uh, now since Gucci dropped everything that followed, and just as hard, if not harder, and the numbers prove, do you feel like all them years of grinding finally paying off for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's starting to pay off for sure, but it's like, it's so crazy. It ain't, it'd be crazy when your shit do finally get to grab it on there, be how you think it's gonna be, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't really grabbing it off of me, like, they grabbing it. But they, it, it, it take for the people to notice. When they notice, it's kind of crazy. That's kind of what it takes, I think. Cause I've been doing, I tried a lot, man. I've been grinding for a minute. But it's like, my grind wasn't really towards getting nobody to notice me. It was more towards like, me looking good and me doing shit to make me look good. I gotta figure out how to make people notice me without doing goofy shit. Gucci kind of did, that's what I'm saying. Got to. Now give me your take on the protests and the riots that happened on behalf of George Floyd murder. That shit crazy. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I really don't know too much to say on that shit, but I just know. Shit, we gotta get that justice. Real shit, we gotta get that justice. It's mixed I, 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 I don't really condone it. You ain't gonna see me too much looting. Right. But if that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. I ain't shit. gonna go against my people, so it is what it is. Real talk, real talk. Right. Any message you wanna give to the youth out here while in the misguided in Flint? Uh, yeah, you can easily get misguided in Flint. Easy, easy. So I just tell motherfuckers, man, try to stay focused, man, and figure out what's up. Stay focused, man, and you can learn up other people's mistakes. You ain't gotta make a mistake just to be the one to learn from it. You can watch other niggas make mistakes and learn from that. You ain't gotta bust your head, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now this is a personal question. I really need to know, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a fan person. So how would you feel on the table with you, Mike and Rio, and Eddie as an old to the classic Dumb and Dumber tape show brothers drop? He must, he, he must, he must, he must is in my shit. He know it's shit. Know. It's already coming. Oh, that shit already on the floor. It's damn, damn, Mike. What that city? We down this down there car, that's right. Damn. Y'all no, dealing with a motherfucking uh, Y'all dealing with somebody that know the future Yeah, I'm tapped all the way in, my baby You already know He's yeah, yeah, really yeah. great top five rappers of all time All time? Yes, sir Man, I'm talking cash I gotta go Lil Wayne I gotta go Boosie I gotta go uh, Damn, great rappers of all time To me? Yeah. I gotta go Boosie, I gotta go motherfucking uh, Damn, bro, I gotta damn near go. I fuck with the nigga Peas. I just fuck with the nigga Peas. Shout out Peas to Sweet Peas. Damn, man, my nigga. Uh, I'm gonna say my nigga Bomb Skins. Uh, Bomb Skins, Bomb Skins. Uh, I'm gonna say my brother Rio. Uh, Rio, 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 now, is there anybody in music you want to work with that you haven't reached out to and already got the chance to do with? Uh, yes, a couple more things I'm trying to work, but I ain't gonna lie. I want to work. I, I, I like music, so I just want to do something with a lot of motherfuckers. I want to fuck with a lot of Atlanta niggas, Lil Baby. Uh, I, wanna just, I just want to bitch on the right, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I really ain't got no search motherfuckers, right. but I know I want to work. Work with everybody. I'm willing to do whatever. So who or what reason do you create music for right now? Uh, oh, you're saying again? So who or what reason do you create <laughs> music for right now? Motivational purposes. I ain't gonna lie. I motivate myself through the music. I say certain shit that motivate me too. Like, damn, I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I got I'm gonna tighten my shit up. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be feeling. So I'll be like, hey. and then this young nigga right here. 
he want to be like me and my son want to be like me so bad. I'm like, fuck it, I got to do it. Got you. I got to do it the right way, though. If you don't watch me anyway, I got to do it the right way. If you don't watch me regardless, it's wrong or right. So I'd rather do it the right way. Now, how did you link up with Get A Bad Records? And is y'all relationship a record deal, distribution deal, or is they purely family to you? Uh, Get A Bad Records, we purely family. Man. I met him through. I met him through another homeboy. Mm -hmm. We just locked in. Like we just met him good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm like I'm like with him. I ain't like signed. It ain't no sign. It ain't no paper signature. Right. Just family. You know family. Real shit. We do shit together. We put each other on each other's CDs. It's just real love. Real shit. Real shit. Now you in a beautiful position right now. But what's your main goal right now? And where's Louis Ray gonna be this time next year? My main goal right now, bro. Mm -hmm. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? I know my main goal right now, man, is hold it down for him, bro. Go sit down. We all got to do some time. So I really want to be able to hold that down, you feel me? Yeah, sure. By the time we get out, really be on our shit, for real. Mm -hmm. like, we ain't finna slow down. We ain't trying to be boxing in one box. Like, we just want to do shit with Uzi, Burton, and all that shit. For real talk. Yeah, so we ain't in no box. We trying, we trying to go there. Yeah, I'm moving. We trying to do everything. We trying to do the whole thing. Like, yeah, I'm moving hard. Can I get a freestyle out you? You dropping so much lately, I don't know if you want to even give a freestyle, you know what I'm saying? But if you got one in you, you know what I'm saying? Just a little 16 bar. Let me see what I got. What I got. Damn, I don't freestyle though. That's crazy. I don't freestyle. Like, I gotta think about it. Yeah, I been seeing you go off your phone all the time. I gotta think about it. I don't freestyle. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, this all good, my baby. You see that pin gold anyway? Look at it. You did? Sure. Respect. I kind of write it as I think. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I freestyle. I respect. I gotta write it down. I don't remember. So I don't wanna get the freestyle. I'll just keep stopping. So respect. Respect. Yeah, I hear that. I hear Put the people on your Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and YouTube handles. The thing is, I really don't use nothing else but my Instagram. Uh -huh. Facebook is strong, I don't use Twitter. So I'm just straight Instagram right now. Louis Ray underscore underscore. It's two underscores. Louis Ray underscore underscore. And go follow this nigga too, man. Y'all gotta go follow the game. Hell yeah, yeah. Shout out for the streets one time. Gotta shout it out, man. And big shout out to the motherfucking for the streets, nigga. That's all we doing it for. We only do it for the streets. And hold on. The niggas don't think we cut when there's no ones in here. And we not signed to none of that shit. We just only rapping. Flint, too. What's up? Flint, Michigan, the new hub for this shit, man. Y'all niggas better get with this shit to get lost. Gotta know it. Sure. That's love. I love it. I love it. 